I'm the real strong guy of X Factor. Oh, no, you're not. <laughs> Hola, amigos. It's Will here from Will's Custom Figures, coming at you today with a big, bad breakdown of Guido Corsacella or Carousella. I can never say the name from Marvel's X Factor. So please, guys, sit back and relax while I talk you through how and why I made this figure and everything else in between. So firstly, let's start with why. Well, I didn't want to spend an awful lot of money on getting the official, here he is again, and we'll do a size comparison in a minute, the official build a figure of Strong Guy about, what was it, four years ago, about 2020, when it all came out. Call me a cheapskate, but I had a McFarlane Creech in my toy fodder box. And do you know what? This guy was monstrous. And he really made Forge. He made Multiple Man. He made Polaris Havoc. And here's a nice little custom Quicksilver. He made them look like they were the smaller members of the team. And he towered and monstrously muscled over them. So that's why I decided to make this figure. Now, for anybody that doesn't know, I absolutely love making a figure on a budget. And as you can see, this strong guy looks absolutely better. He's kind of like a mecha, super strong guy. It's my mind's eye version of the character. So I've put the rest of X Factor here. As you can see, Polaris standing very, very cool. One of my all-time favorite X Factor team members. And then you have, as mentioned, this is a nice little custom, um, custom Quicksilver. I think the head might be the multiple man head. I'm not 100% sure, but um, yeah, I'm really happy with uh, with my custom Quicksilver. I used, I don't know if you can see here, let's just zoom in on the head a little bit so we can see, there we go. I used a little bit of um, the, uh, the clay that you can mix together. It's um, two types of clay, you mix it together and uh, then it allows you to actually have little bits of hair that can move. So it's called Procreate Putty. For anybody that hasn't used it, it's amazing. I was gonna do more hair and make it more comic accurate, but I decided I like just doing a little bit on the edges because in the comics, I mean, it really, really comes out quite a bit. Now, uh, oh, speaking of Polaris, okay, here we go. Here is Havoc. And I've used the effects from the other Havoc, the one that was recently released. I think it was the Bone Breaker Wave. And as you can see, it looks really, really cool on there. Absolutely badass. But sorry, Havoc. Uh, I don't think Polaris wants to be with you anymore. Here is two multiple men. I would have loved to have the multiple man in the trench coat, but they're still going for a pretty penny, probably a little bit more than what I want to pay for them. I'd probably rather the custom one. But I'm very happy with these two multiple men. I've got another couple of those hidden around the collection, different places. And here we have, of course, the new Forge that was released. I'm really happy with Forge. I like him. Um, I think I prefer the old school one. Um, the thing for me with this current one is he doesn't have the tassels around the legs. And I don't think he looks as American Indian in the face. I really like the other one. He looks far more American Indian. So um, I'll probably be selling him soon. And this brings us on to Strong Guy. <laughs> Say cheese, Guido, <laughs> and that is a cheese. Now, doing this video and getting ready to film this for years, I did a lot of research into him, and oh my god, I had no ideas so about some of the information um, that I found out, and I was really seriously impressed. But I found out actually he was meant to be like a little nerdy kid when he was at school, and um, he unlocked his powers because he was being bullied and um, had this horrible interaction with a child. And uh, he always used to sort of make jokes and um, sort of like parry off other people's mean comments to him and try and make jokes out of a lot of things. And um, all of a sudden, he's getting beaten down by some kids and suddenly he uh, he unleashes his power and doesn't realise he has it. But inside, yeah, he, uh, he comes out and uh, starts to sort of turn from this little nerdy dweeby kid into this absolute mammoth huge massive massive mutant so he was first um, in new mutants number 29 didn't realize that and as mentioned it's guido carousella i believe his name is later joins x factor and is in the earth 616 universe of course we've mentioned about some of his teammates forge multiple man polaris and havoc and um the only person i didn't have here was x-men's uh ice man because i actually have him on display somewhere else so I'm waiting for Wolfsbane. She's coming out soon. Very, very excited to get her in the collection. But the main sort of reason for this, if I talk you guys through it, was just because I didn't feel like the Builder figure had that hulking mass that I really wanted. And if you can see here, 
This has all been painted. This is all original score by McFarlane. Fair play, Todd, because this creature figure is amazing. Now, it's more of a sculpture, but look at the details. If I just pick this up for you, the details on here are absolutely amazing. Of course, I've painted all this gunmetal blue. I've added the red bits in here. I want the reds and the yellows to really come out. Um, I've also, as you might be able to tell here, I've added the collar on. I've added these steel sort of shoulder pads on here. The X, of course, must have that on if he's in X Factor. Um, I've also added the pecs on. There was no pecs there originally because the creature's head's about here. So I had to completely sculpt all of this. Now the head to attach it on there, I'll just show you guys. So it's attached with a magnet. There we go. And um, yeah, a little bit of paint wear there, but that's okay. And you can see what I did is I buried a magnet in there. And then I added a little bit here, a little bit of blue around the neck. And what happens is, bam, pops on. So you can see, there's no up and down movement, limited range of motion for sure. But look at that, look at that chest, look at those pecs. That's all hand sculpted on and then cooked in the oven. So I'm really, really so happy with how that's turned out. Now um, the boots, the knee pads are all different blues. He's got these waist straps here, sort of belt buckles. Each rivet has been painted. Oh, it's really hard to get the angle where you can see it. Oh, there you go. So you can sort of see the, the silver belt buckles. I've also painted silver in between all these little mech parts and even the red bits at the back. So it really does look like he's got all these different cylinders and parts firing away. A little bit of clay under the foot just so he can actually stand a bit better. But I really, really love this. I just haven't really got the space to display it anymore. If I had unlimited space, I would 100% be keeping it. I love this figure. Um, so articulation wise, in fact, do you know what? I'm gonna move the turntable out of the way. Before we get into articulation, I'm gonna bring in the other strong guy, the builder figure, the official strong guy. Now, I remember seeing this for the first time and being like, do you know what? He's cool, but he's not quite the strong guy that I envisioned after looking at him when I saw him on the X-Men, the animated series. That was my first exposure to strong guy. And he left a pretty lasting impression. I didn't feel like he was big enough. Sorry about that. Didn't feel like he was big enough versus um, my mind's eye version of him. So I really like this strong guy. I've sort of fell in love with it a little bit more over the years. I'm going to paint in. You can see where the paint isn't quite perfect. I'm going to paint all these blues in. I'm going to add in, cover up these little pins here. I'm going to add in. He's got like a little zip and um, a uh, buckle and things like that. You can also see on the hands here, he's got the wrist straps with buckles on. But no one's actually painted those in. It's a cool figure. It's just not perfect for me. Um, so yeah, a little bit of customization. Even at the bottom, you can see these uh, ankle braces or whatever they are. They haven't been painted in all these little buckles and buttons and things like that. So articulation, just to run you through, and you can sort of see the mass of the Creech version that I've made here. There is not a huge ver a huge amount of articulation, just because McFarlane was never really known for that. I think the DC Multiverse figures that he's making now have a lot more articulation on them. He does have a torso twist. Obviously, we talked about the head being able to move, which is pretty cool. Uh, the arms go up and down, and the legs move as well. But you don't want to move the legs too much because he won't stand otherwise. Unfortunately, if you twist him too much, then he, he sort of does hold in different positions. But because he's so top heavy, if you're not careful with how you're displaying him, there is a risk of him toppling. So um, if I display him straight forwards here, look at the camera, there we go, we're okay. But sort of more dynamic poses, you are a little bit limited. Of course, I'm not gonna talk through the uh, display um, and the articulation, um, different formats and ways that you can do it with the Builder Figure Strong Guy, because I'm sure you guys already know that. But the Creech from McFarlane is an amazing base. I'll probably use it again for another sort of mech type character. Now, a few interesting facts before I bring this, idiot, uh, this video to an end. He can move the blob. He can face off versus the Hulk. Now, I feel like this Strong Guy, the beautiful bright yellow, it's actually a Sun Yellow by Vallejo that I used to paint this, and it was super Sculpey Clay I used to do all the sculpting. This guy looks like he can face off against the Hulk. This guy versus the Hulk, oh, I'm not so sure. I love this though. In my mind's eye, this is like, all right, how we've got um, Iron Man and, you know, he can pull out all these different um, versions of um, of his Iron Man suit, you know, to take on like Hulkbuster and things like that. This is kind of like 
the strong guy buster, as it were. But um, he faces off against the Hulk, and actually they have such an intense battle the strong guy is actually really close to having a heart attack at the end of it. He absorbs kinetic energy. He can lift 50 tons and his mutant power is basically his size. This guy can just grow and grow and grow. And let's do a little bit of a face off here. I'm just going to, here we go. Wow, look at that. Isn't that awesome? Let's turn the heads. <laughs> Boom. Who would win? You tell me in the comment section below. I've absolutely loved filming this video. I've filmed this before, actually, when I was just a uh, younger customizer. As mentioned, I think it must be about four years old now. And um, I still love that video. And um, it's very, very old school, but it's rough around the edges. As are all of my videos, none of them are really perfect. But I really hope you've enjoyed this. He is on eBay at the moment. If you're interested in buying, buying him, then please feel free to bid on there. I'd absolutely encourage you to do so. There's a lot of watchers at the moment. And um, I might all so make another one of these eventually using some of these parts that's got a bit more articulation. But for now, that is my video review of Strong Guy. So from me, from the rest of X Factor and uh, his fantastic counterparts, counterparts Forge and Multiple Man and Polaris Havoc, everybody else, it has been an absolute pleasure filming this video for you. Who would win? Let me know in the comment section below and give me a like, a comment and a subscribe. So from me and from the Strong Guy brothers, Guido Carosella, it has been a pleasure, and we'll see you on the next one. Adios. Uh, <laughs>